It's a good thing to know how to align a more complex system like this beam telescope that has two lenses. And the front is a negative lens that causes the beam to begin to expand. That's corrected by the positive lens later. It basically captures that expansion and recollimates it into a straight beam. To align this, which is pretty touchy, what we're going to do first is to take off the first lens. So this is the negative lens. We're going through just to the, to the positive lens now. And so you can see in the image that we have here, there's two spots of light that are reflecting back from the two surfaces of the lens. What we're going to do is to center this up using the standard methods that we have for aligning lenses. <coughs> And so I can see that left, right, I'm probably more or less centered, but up, down, I don't have the right height. So now what I'm going to do is raise the beam telescope little bit by little bit until those two reflections are on top of one another from the two surfaces. So this is going to mean that I'm normal to both of the surfaces. So even though they're curved surfaces, they have a tangent. And this is identifying that the point at which they're, the two tangents are parallel, which only happens in the middle of the lens. And now I'm going to shift left and right, and as I shift left and right, I can also bring the two on top of one another. So now I'm centered in the lens up and down, but I'm tilted a little bit to the right. So I can use the adjustments that came with this lens to move both of those spots back towards the center. So in fact, as I do this, I'm going to make some more adjustments. So I'm going to shift it and tilt it at the same time in order to bring it back onto the beam in the center here. So there we go. That's almost correct now. There we go. Now I can just touch it up to make that go back straight to the center of the hole where it came from. So now's the time when I can take the, the negative lens and screw that into the holder as well. So now I'm going to align it separately. And I'm hoping that alone need to make small changes. And so what I can see, in fact, is the beam goes back almost perfectly on the hole. If I lower it, I can see the reflection from that first curved surface. It'll be enough if I hit the middle of that. And so I send that back into the hole. There's my second reflection now. That's actually going back and forth between the laser and the lens. So this is a, an aligned beam telescope.